So here we have the kite that you see on page five. This is a kite, just like the last slide said, because it has four sides. These two sides are the same length, and these two sides are the same length. That's why it's a kite. But there's no formula to find the area of a kite. So I'm going to show you three strategies on the next page. There'll be three separate videos. The first video is Molly's strategy, Molly's kite. Molly looked at this picture and she said, how can I divide the shape and make it into shapes that I know? So she decided to divide it like this. Do you recognize those two shapes? Yep. Molly changed hers into two triangles. The second strategy that you're going to see is James's strategy. James is strategy number two. James decided, hmm, I don't want to cut my shape the way Molly cut her shape. How can I cut it? So this is what James did. James cut his so that he has one small triangle up here and another big triangle down here. So he still has two triangles. Okay, that's what James did. So we're going to have one more strategy just because I like you to have options to see what feels most comfortable to you. This strategy is going to be called Miss Skip's Kite. Strategy three, aka the long way. Okay, the coolest part about the three videos you're going to see on the next page is that you choose. You choose which way you want to use. So here's Miss Skip's strategy, the long way. There we go. So Miss Skip is going to use Molly and James's strategy together. Okay, she actually has separated hers into one, two, three, four triangles. All right. Go to the next slide, watch all three videos, decide which one you like the best, and that's the one you should use.